Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see the new update that has received on the Poco X2. That is the MIUI version 12.1.2. That is the Android 11 update. So yeah, Poco X2 has received the Android 11 update. So we are going to take a look on it. So guys, let's begin. <laughs> As you guys can see here, it is the Android 11 and the, it is the official update. The Poco X2 users has received it, received these these update and going to the, all these specs here, as you can see Android version 11 and the security patch level you get here is the 1st of January 2021, which is the latest one. So yeah, you get to see the latest security patch level here. Okay, then going back, this is just the same settings panel. This is the and now the good news is that you get to see the gesture pill available here so that is great as you can see this gesture pill here is available but there are so many bugs in this room we'll be taking a look at it but first i'll just show you the changes here like here is the what's new and here is here are the changes only the optimization and the update security patch to january 2021 and the miui based on android 11 so yeah and the MIUI version is 12.1.2.0 so mm, this is a major update the android update the android 11 update and going to the home screen this is the home screen and the 120 hertz display is working and you also get to see the new animations i'll just show as you can see these recent new animations are available so that's great and now you don't have to stretch your hands to up up till the status bar now you can just swipe and now the control center will be activated and on the left you get to see the notification panel so this is great and the, here the changes is uh, here there was written the control center but now it has been replaced by the time so that is great otherwise the control center here is just the same everything is working perfectly fine then there is no other change this is the only changes and otherwise you get to see these new animations for which we were waiting but still the app closing animations are just not available the unlocking animation here is also not available which is available in the miui system launcher in which the, the animations like the ios unlocking animations these are just the normal animations available so yeah this is it otherwise the, the app launcher here is just the same and if you have noticed or not up here there was the option of the split screen which has been removed now there was the option of the split screen here which is removed so yeah that is a bit issue and also there was the the, the option of this floating window here the floating window option here has also been removed and you get to see the split screen but the split screen here is working perfectly fine you saw that glitch the animation so there is a bit issue of the animations here the animation stutters a lot on this rom when i just flashed this rom first at that time the rom was just rubbish this the room was just shit but after using it and after formatting it after resetting the data the room is now much better as you can see in the telegram group here it is written factory factory reset is recommended and after the factory reset the room is much better then other changes in these settings here are that this is the long screen layout just the same in the display this is the layout of the light mode and the dark mode then there is also a refresh rate change the, this ui is changed here so these are the, some minimal changes and you get to see the notification control center this is just the same this is the ui you get to see the control center and the normal older version old version of the quick settings and you also get to see the smart home like the android r easter egg in the control center as you can see okay as you can see this just lagged so yeah this is also a bug here so the update here is quite buggy there are so many bugs as you can see this control center bug the phone just got hang i cannot do anything as you can see it's just stuck here now i have to reboot the phone i have to reboot it man 
okay so guys if you still haven't subscribed to the channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and that will be the name of the telegram group here you can join the telegram group if you still haven't joined it okay so guys the phone has rebooted but after the reboot as you can see there is another bug here the control center is just not working as you can see i am not able to access the control center the navigation gestures are working perfectly fine but the control center i am just not able to access so this is full buggy update the ota update i think this will be rolled back and i will just also not recommend you to update it because this is a very buggy rom system ui isn't responding as you can see okay i'll just click it now let's see what happens this is the option smart home which we just enabled and after that the phone just got hanged when i opened the control center and now this is the smart home as you can see the water bubble and everything these are the android r easter eggs and you can also turn it off to none and so yeah this is it and these are the options of the status bar then going to then these are the gestures the android 10 gestures are just working and but these animations as you can see these gestures the android 10 gestures are not working properly they just take a bit of time but now we'll talking about the bugs here. the bug here is that there is no app closing animation but there was a trick to get the app closing animation but that trick here is will not work on this update because when you go to the home screen and in the launcher when you switch between the launcher as you can see the navigation buttons just got activated and you have just exited to the settings now again i'll go to the okay i go to the home screen and in the default launcher i'll just change the launcher still there these are the animations only here so this is a issue this is a bug present here and so you have to now again go to the full screen display and change the full screen display now the pill well and the gestures will be available and is are working fine so this is the list of bug i have faced okay so guys then another bug here is in the file manager as you can see it just takes a bit of time to load i'll just show it to you now when i open the download as you can see it just takes a little bit of time it just loads a little bit then the another problem in the is in the android pro uh, folder the obb there are no files all the files are missing here in the obb and in the data so yeah all the files in the obb and data folder are missing in the file manager so this is also a bug present otherwise everything here is smooth the room is smooth but these are the bugs there are so many bugs available here that this room isn't usable and when you access the app vault here also app vault also there is a slight lag you will face and if you notice or not but after the reboot uh, before the reboot the battery was around 52 percent and after reboot it dropped to 49 percent so yeah battery drain here is also a bit issue but overall the battery drain problem has been solved the battery life has in improved after this update i will just show you the battery usage stats this is the battery usage stats after the update i got 2 hours and 40 minutes of screen on time like this is the this is around 48 percent i had up reset the phone after the update and i got around 2 hours and 10 minutes of screen on time till 20 percent of battery so yeah the battery life has improved after the update and otherwise this is the call app and these animations are just working but there are no app closing animations available then another bug in the chrome app here is as you can see this is the def test ufo.com and in the chrome the refresh rate just don't go over 100 fps and this is this time it's just not going over 60 as you can see so after the update the chrome app does not support 120 fps refresh rate 120 hertz refresh rate even 60 hertz refresh rate it just stops between the 48 and 50 fps so yeah this is also a bug with the google chrome here otherwise everything here is just working fine i will just not recommend you to update it but still i'll just show you how you can do it go to the about phone in the update download the update there will be the link in the description now go to the three dots and choose update package and now from here just select the update package here 
select whatever select the zip file and you will be able to update the OTA but I'll just not recommend you to update it because there are so many bugs here and this ROM here is just not usable I will have I have to downgrade it to MIUI 12.0.2 version because it was much better than this uh, this update so yeah that was it so guys that's it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and goodbye